I'm David Heiner, professional speaker, researcher and facilitator on the subject of personal effectiveness. I've spent 14 years interviewing highly effective and successful people to find out how they think and behave in different situations. This audio program is all about the power of having a mastermind group. Do you have a mastermind? Masterminding is a process where you get supported and held accountable to achieve your goals. Before I go into detail of how you can set up a mastermind group, I am fascinated and desperate to share with you the reason why mastermind groups came about in the first place. They started in the second half of the 18th century, believe it or not, here in the UK. And it was brought about by a group called the Lunar Society, L-U-N-A-R, the Lunar Society. They were a, a gifted group of polymaths, entrepreneurs, scientists, inventors, philanthropists, explorers, who used to meet, well, every month in and around Birmingham in the West Midlands on the Monday nearest the full moon, when there was most light to travel home by coach light. And they met between, they reckon, 1765 right up until 1813. It was a gathering place for scientists, inventors, philosophers, and during the second half of the 18th century, they would meet because they firmly believed that what they were doing would better the lot of mankind. So they were sometimes called the betterment or the enlightenment. Their Midlands Enlightenment was uh, very closely linked to those in Birmingham, Edinburgh and Paris at the time, but because they were big on taking action, this group were distinguished by its emphasis on going beyond just thinking and brainstorming, but putting more theory into practice and translating ideas into action. They were humane and sincere in wishing to improve the lot of ordinary people. For example, they abhorred slavery and they were amongst the first people to stand out against it. Several of them led campaigns against slavery. Their meetings were fun, as well as intellectually stimulating. They were cheerful, they drank, they ate, and they revered to themselves affectionately as the Lunar Ticks. Now, <laughs> the Lunar Society included in its members, and get this for a hit list, James Watt, Darwin, Bolton, Wedgwood, even the American president Benjamin Franklin used to travel to here in the Midlands to attend these meetings. Such was the prominence and the effect they knew they were changing the world. And what did they do? Well, they would meet, they would share opportunities and challenges, they would brainstorm opportunities and challenges, help each other, push each other, come up with ideas, suggestions and answers to problems. And then they would commit to actions. And here's the gold dust. Between meetings, they would support each other and hold themselves accountable. Now, who supports you? Who holds you accountable that you can't wriggle off the hook from? If you met with people who were at and above your level, people who had different skill sets to you, people who you respected totally, I wonder how good you would be at wriggling off the hook with them. So if you want to set up your own mastermind group and test out this theory, from our many years of facilitating mastermind groups, we can suggest three or four things that if you do these things will help you run a truly effective mastermind group. Number one is to find out and establish what it is you want to achieve from the group. Most groups have tend to have a shelf life of between 12 and 18 months. After that, they can become a bit of a talking shop and a fireside chat because you get to know each other too well. But when setting up the group and inviting members to join, it's important that you identify A, what it is you want to achieve, but B, what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? Which areas do you need expert information on if truly you're going to achieve your goal? And find thought leaders in that field who are equally motivated as yourself. 
get them to join your group and you'll be surrounded with people who are not like you. If you surround yourself with people who are the same as you, the same way of thinking and behaving, it will just turn into a yes group, a nodding dog exercise, a fireside chat. Get people who are different, who can give you a different perspective on your challenges and opportunities, and therefore you can give them a different perspective on their challenges and their opportunities. So get people with differing skill sets. Meet on a regular basis. I would strongly recommend once every four to six weeks for between half a day and a day. Sometimes people have a weekend away or an overnight session, but either way, meet on a regular basis for one year. At the first meeting, introduce yourselves, get to know each other a little bit, and then take it in turns to go around the table, brainstorming a challenge or an opportunity that you have with your big goal. And for a year, I would strongly suggest that each member works on one personal and one professional goal that is significant to their lifetime goals. So you brainstorm challenges and opportunities that are linked to your big personal or professional goal. You then go around the table again in turn, once you've brainstormed your goals, on committing to actions against those steps. So the things that you've heard, the ideas you've been given, you commit to action steps that will take you closer to your goal against the brainstorming outputs. When you've all done that, you then go round the table again. But this time, you don't just commit to action, you put dates times next to it. You agree in the diary when you're going to meet next. Are you going to have a conference call? Are you going to meet up? Who's going to support me? Who's going to hold me accountable? Do you want me to support you? Do you want me to hold you accountable to your goals? If you do this for one year, I dare you to not become more effective. Also, it really helps if you have an external facilitator, someone who is external to the group, not a member of the group. If you need to pay somebody, pay somebody, but make sure that they are good at facilitating mastermind groups. Make sure that they've done it before and they know what they're doing. Someone who is not afraid to point at you and going, stop it, tell us the truth. You haven't done this, why? Is that acceptable to you? Someone who will push you, provoke you, as well as support you. I would suggest you meet somewhere that is away from the workplace. Maybe take in interns to facilitate or host a meeting if you can't afford a facilitator. You could have a family mastermind group. I've seen them work. You could have an industry mastermind group. I've seen those really work. You could even have an academic mastermind group, a sales mastermind group, a leadership mastermind group. What is it that you need to take to the next level over the next 12 months that if you surrounded yourself with the experts, the top achievers in their field, and you met on a regular basis, what could you achieve? That is the power of a mastermind group. It's very simple, it's very effective, but very few people take action. Question is, 